Good morning people. Yes, back in Stockholm. Another day, another walk, you know it. And as you can see, we are at Stockholm Central Station. And today is going to be a little short walk looking at the shops and the stores. That's kind of the same thing, shops and stores. Anyway, let's look in the central hall here in Stockholm, what you can find. Um, a lot of people, you know, when they arrive here, they come with the train, the Arlanda Express, and then the first thing they see here is Stockholm Central Station. So a lot of the tourists, they arrive here, and then they're probably a bit hungry, a bit thirsty, I don't know. And then they enter here. So I thought maybe it's fun to have a little closer look at what do they actually, what can you do here? What do they sell? That kind of stuff. So yeah, it's like nine o'clock in the morning. So a lot of people commuting to work and things like this. And um, yeah, the first thing I see here, it says hungry, question mark. Welcome to the bistro. All right, so this is an overview of Central Station. Let's not get too deep into it, but let, let's check here what they got. Dog News, it's like a cafe. Oh, they have like cinnamon rolls and things like this and coffee. Lovely. So yeah, that's, that's a good point to start with. How much does a coffee cost here? So here it's 26 Swedish crowns. So 26 crowns for a coffee, which is, I would say, you know, quite reasonable um, for Swedish standards. And here, the same thing, right? They offer the cinnamon rolls, coffee, sandwiches, very nice. Here we've got the Press Buron, and Press Buron basically means like news agent, right? This is the most common convenience store in Sweden. We do have 7-Eleven, but it's not like super, super uh, common. Um, so yeah, this is like the Swedish version of, um, yeah, of 7-Eleven, and they offer all kind of things. Um, not even sell a few books, I see. So yeah, books, they got fruit, sandwiches, all kind of stuff. Um, coffee, which you can take yourself from the machine. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Um, oh, actually, I think looks like they're arresting someone there. All right, that was funny. So here we've got a barbecue place. What's this? Mangal. Ooh, they sell like kebabs and stuff. They haven't really opened yet, but it looks nice. Kebabs, even vegetarian option. Falafel, all the kind of good stuff. And then here in the middle we have... Oh, actually, Olof has mentioned this place before. It's called Viette Katten. Same thing here, it's like a breakfast, roll, coffee, cafe kind of place. Here we've got Burger King. I'm going a bit all over the place here, sorry folks, so I just wanted to check what they got here. Ooh, some nice sandwiches. <laughs> getting hungry just walking around here oh we've got Starbucks as well here Starbucks is not very common it's the same thing as I mentioned with um, um, what's it called same thing uh, goes for 7-eleven goes with Starbucks we do have it but it's not a big thing it's not popular I think they just have it here because you know the tourists recognize it you know what I mean so yeah, you've got a lot of benches where people can sit. It's very busy here at Central Station and it's always more busy on a Friday because a lot of people are going, um, you know, going away for the weekend, right? So they're taking the trains to the different parts here in, in Sweden. So here we've got more like regular store. Here we got the pharmacy. We've got Technique Magazinet, which is a Swedish chain of electronic stores. So if you need a cable, a charger, you know, something for your computer, they got it here. It's a very popular store. Um, down there we've got the lockers and the toilets. Here we've got the bookstore, pocket shop. Um, 
I don't know how bookstores survive because a lot of people, you know, sell their books, um, buy their books, sorry, online nowadays. Yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of people. Um, these are not like foreign tourists. These are, I mean, I don't know, but it looks like 90% of these are actually um, Swedish people, uh, you know, going, going away for the weekend, maybe skiing or whatever. So here we've got another Presperon, like a slightly bigger one. And this one's got a lot of magazines as well. That's nice. Ooh. These are some toys and some games and a lot of fun stuff. Ooh, teddy bear. Oh, my favorite section, the chips. <laughs> Hot dogs, drinks. Oh, well. You know how it is. Like I've mentioned this before, you know, most things here are pretty overpriced right so if you want to buy something cheap don't go into central station but i think this is something you can say about all central stations in the world you know the ra the rent here is extremely high and also um you know they know it's tourists so yeah but yeah that's no rocket science so here we've got the flower shop nice so in here, this is uh, very handy as well. This is the tourist information point here at Central Station. Um, you can buy tickets uh, to the hop on, hop off bus if that's what you like to do. Um, and here on the side, the desk is not open, but I think they, they open around maybe 10 ish, 11 ish. Um, and also here, this is very good. You have all the flyers, right? For all the. Um, you know, if you want to go to the Nordic Museum or, you know, Skansen, uh, Viking Museum, Cosmonova, so all the fun activities, the Swedish History Museum. So yeah, all the fun stuff you want to do here, you can, um, yeah, get some information about it. So here we've got the big sign, everyone's looking and waiting for their train times. And um, yeah, so here it's very busy because everyone's like, is my train on time? Where am I going to go? What am I going to do? So yeah. And usually when there's a lot of people here, it means there's some delays. So yeah, let me check the signs. Um, actually, it doesn't look too bad, to be honest. So what else do we got? Oh, we got a licorice store here. Lakris Ruten. Hmm. Nice. Some Swedish licorice, as it seems. All right, cool, cool, cool. I'm going out quickly because I was hearing some copyright music. What's this? Cutters, all oh, right, yeah. Cutters is a chain of cheap hairdressers in Sweden um, I think that one is a little bit unpersonal right uh, I don't really like it so this is the train machine Ooh, let's buy a ticket buy I want to go from Stockholm to I want to go to Uppsala for example Up. Oh, you can choose. Are you a student, pensioner, retired, youth? Yeah, and you can buy a ticket. 104 crowns to go to Uppsala. But that's because you buy it last minute, right? If you actually want to buy cheaper, it's better to do it on the website and book like a week in advance and stuff like that with train tickets. So yeah, this is basically the waiting area. Everyone's sitting around waiting for their train. Um, this is actually um, also the area where a lot of the um, homeless people are hanging out because on these benches they can sit and rest and it's warm you know and this is also open 
I'm not sure if it's 24 hours a day, but I think it's 23 hours a day at least. And here under we've got McDonald's. Um, and actually, let's go up the stairs. I've never been here. This is the SJ Lounge. So SJ is the company that um, does all the trains like within Sweden, right? So SL is the one within Stockholm and SJ is the one that does the trains all around Sweden. And yeah, this is pretty cool. I've never been on here. Let's get the view. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, this is nice. I've never been in this lounge, but it looks nice. There, they've got O'Leary's, which is a sports bar. But I think you're supposed to enter from it from the other side. But anyway, um, it's not open yet. It's a bit early for hamburgers and beer, right? Yeah, nice. There's one more thing also I want to show you outside because there's a very nice Thai restaurant out here that I can really recommend. I was actually there for a few weeks ago. Um, and it's pretty decent in price as well. So if you like to have a quick bite here in Central Station, there's one place I can recommend and we can actually go there right now. Because, you know, all the coffee places here, you know, you know, coffee places. Co no, that's not really true but anyway so yeah let's go here and here there's a few restaurants um, actually this is the money exchange Forex that's also very handy to know in Sweden Dademut that's a nice Swedish word um, in Sweden we don't really use cash um, I once saw a ranking of countries in the world that use less cash. The Swedish is like number one and number two in the whole world. Like, so bring a credit card. MasterCard or Visa is accepted everywhere here. Works in every supermarket, every shop and every store. So yeah, cash is not a big thing here. Um, a lot of the cafes don't even accept cash. So if you want to use cash, um, you can basically do that at the supermarkets, but not in many other places. So this is the SL Center. You can see it up there public transport so if you have any questions about um, public transport around here in Stockholm you know this is the place to be um, you can even buy tickets and stuff um, yeah etc etc so we're here we're going to the main entrance so yeah here we've got fountain and now we're in front of the station as you can see central station central station i thought this was going to be a five minute video but <laughs> it's actually a bit longer than i thought it was so yeah so the store i was talking about the restaurant i mean sorry is over there and here we're passing the taxi stand by the way so if you want to take a taxi you know get get it over here never take one outside the regular queue but that's the same in every big city in the world stick to the official queue then um, you get the biggest chance of hang having a reliable service so yes this is the place it's called Salatai and it's a Thai slash Asian, they even have sushi I see, I've never tried the sushi, but anyway, the Thai food in here is very reasonable in price and very good in taste. I had a classic Pad Thai noodle dish and it was awesome, but they also have sushi, but yeah, I don't know. So here we've got a 7-Eleven. Here we've got the Radisson Blue Hotel, another McDonald's across the street. And yeah, if I go and take a left here, I basically end up... No, you know what I'm going to do? This is funny, this is going to end up in a half an hour video anyway. Because there's a few other stores upstairs here. Let's check those out. 
it's funny like I said to myself oh today I'm just gonna do a five minute video I have no time I have pain in my foot let's not walk too much <laughs> 30 minutes later wee! I can't resist people I'm having too much fun it's funny how you can literally walk around for half an hour doing absolutely nothing oh yeah we got the World Trade Center so I'm actually on my way to the other side because here, there you can see the other entrance right of Central Station here we've got City Terminalen which is a fancy word for the bus station yes and even in here there's a lot of stores but yeah let's not get into that because then it will be a one hour video Well, actually here we've got Daisy's which is a hamburger place which is okay actually um, shout out to this guy working here because he gave me a free coffee once so thank you I think his name was Mohammed yeah that was his name Mohammed thanks for the coffee um, but I was on my way to there and it's pretty crazy because there there's another Presbyterian <laughs> that's like there's like three press rooms in Central Station. Same thing goes for Espresso House, which is my favorite coffee place, you all know by now. Um, there's also like three or four Espresso House just in the Central Station area. If not five, there's a lot around here. Across the street, another 7-Eleven. Pretty crazy. All right, let's go in this entrance. All right, let's go in here. So here's an, another waiting area. A more relaxed one. So if you don't want to have too crowded, go upstairs here. Actually, what's this? Flix bus, Flix train. Where's this go? Where's this going? Okay, cool, Gothenburg. How much does that cost? Let's say I go back next week, one adult. Inge die seconde hit das. Oh, here's another ticket machine for the train. And um, actually, let's go in here. We've got lockers. Here's a panini, which is a sandwich and coffee shop. Um, but actually, I'm on my way to show you the police station. Because if you ever need the police, I don't hope so. But then you can go over here. Espresso house. It's the same espresso house, but just from the other side, right? And here is a funny little play area for kids. See, that's that's quite cool. Um, but let's go continue here. Um, it's a waiting area here. Um, oh, this is a place to get vaccines. So where's the police station? I th really thought it was here somewhere. Oh yeah, there it is. Police. It's in here, it's open. Let me check. It's nine to four. On Mondays and Tuesdays, Wednesdays it's closed and then, yeah, same thing again. But in the weekend it's closed. So you have to go to a different police station on the weekends. But if you need someone here, there's always a few like um, police officers around. And not just police officers, there's also security guards around, always at Central Station. So now, we have the view from the other side. So I was at the SL Lounge over there. And I made a full circle, so I think this is a perfect little moment to round up today's video. A bit shorter, but still 20 minutes. I hope you enjoyed this little tour around the Central Hall in Stockholm. Chat gang, what's up? 
thank you for watching i leave a thumbs up i hope you leave a thumbs up as well and i see you all tomorrow on a new adventure bye bye